Hi, my name is Deb Geiger. I'm the Library Media Specialist at Coon Rapids High School. I started using Turnitin when I was an English teacher and used it successfully with several classes over a period of about four years. Now that I'm a media specialist, I continue to use Turnitin with students and teachers. I really like it for a number of reasons. One reason I like Turnitin for student use is that it allows kids to turn in their assignments almost paperlessly or totally paperlessly if the teacher will allow it. Um, submitting an assignment is as easy as logging in to Turnitin. Uh, students have to enroll in their teacher's Turnitin course um, using a password that is not too difficult to do. And then uh, when they have enrolled in courses and they log in, they see a dashboard like this that shows the different classes um, that are using Turnitin. They just click on the class and then they can see the assignments that are, um, have been posted by the teacher. They submit and choose the location of the file. One of the things I like that's new this fall is that students can upload directly from Google Drive. And, um, and then they just uh, choose the, the file that they want to share or submit, upload it, and in a matter of three pretty short steps, uh, their assignment is delivered to the teacher um, and they are pro uh, provided with a digital receipt as, as proof that it has been successfully received. Another thing I like about Turnitin is the uh, different tools that it offers for teachers to be able to give feedback to students. Um, when a teacher opens up the file, uh, the assignment file submitted by the student, they see the student's paper on screen, very similar to the way it would appear if it were on paper. And um, the teacher's screen has a bank of, of comments that are already kind of ready to go. Um, you can um, just drag them from the side over onto the paper. Um, these are comments. Some comments come kind of preloaded in Turnitin, and the teacher can also create comments. Um, so if you comment, uh, you tend to use the same sort of comments or advice over and over. Um, you don't have to keep rewriting those by hand. Um, another thing that you can do is um, just type a comment. And um, and so, you know, still kind of get that sense of the, the personalized note to the student um, that we used to have when we did everything by paper. Besides uh, being able to either drag or type comments on papers, um, ETS, um, Turnitin also uses something called the ETS Rater, which automatically, it works like a grammar checker. Um, on the papers and um, all of those comments appear automatically as long as the teacher turns it on on the papers and um, it provides students it kind of highlights possibly problematic passages and gives them sort of a hint for how to go about um, fixing it and it is linked also to a handbook that provides information about the language rules. So lots of possibilities for giving great feedback to kids about their writing. Finally, um, another reason that I and a lot of teachers really like Turnitin is that it um, has a tool called the Originality Checker um, embedded in the program. And basically, I, I explain this to students as um, when they submit their assignment, Turnitin scans their paper, um, their assignment against um, a lot of content, a database of all of the uh, assignments that have been submitted previously to Turnitin, and also web content um, and database content. And so, um, and so when the teacher looks at a list of assignments, they see a similarity report. 
Um, and so small numbers mean the, uh, the fewest number of matches, matching um, text between the student paper and other content on the web. And so on papers where there's a medium or high um, number, that would mean that there's quite a bit of content that is that is similar to something on the web. And when you um, when you do the originality checker, when you click originality checker, you're able to easily see um, highlighted right on your screen right on your screen the passages that are similar to another place on the web. And then there's a um, sort of a key here as far as where where those passages, where else those passages can be found. So I like this for a couple of reasons. One is that it really simplifies the, the process of checking to make sure the students really have done their own work. Um, if a student were just to like grab content from Wikipedia or a website, it would be very easy to see that um, using Turnitin. But um, it's not just all about catching the students doing something bad, it's also about teaching them. So um, I have the possibility of turning this on um, so that students can see their originality report before their paper is due. And then they can see what passages are highlighted and they can make sure that they have used the proper punctuation and citations in the, in the format that's required by their class um, so that when they turn in their assignment, it's really the best that it can be. I think there's great possibilities for helping students learn to cite their information correctly. So I really hope you'll give Turnitin a try. Ask questions and just jump in.